Alright everybody, epic music intro, welcome back to Home Wars. So we are going to load the good one fail because we we, 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 we have messed up. Now, however, I did keep the good one in case we need to go back, but I am not planning on doing that. So, after reading over the comments, there were two main themes. And this is this is where it all comes down to, guys. One of the... Well, here, first, first things first. There's something called an incendiary factory. And this, ladies and gentlemen, oh yes, this is how we, in fact... Produce the ammunition for our flamethrowers because in the last one we ran out of flamethrower ammunition. And we lost the battle as a result by only having four out of eight potential flamethrower guys fight an army of overwhelming red ants. They came, they saw, they conquered, and they killed a lot of really good plastic army men. And you know whose fault that is? It's my fault. It really is. So the theme of the uh, last video from reading over Baron's Brigade's comments were Cesar, as well as a great number of you, were saying that in terms of what we should do for the uh, next unlock, it would it should definitely be light anti-air and work up this way because, <clears throat> because, guys, these bugs, these flyers, grasshoppers, mosquitoes, those big green things, soon we're going to be fighting big old bees. Big ol' bees, them big ol' bees gonna sting us. Now, we, we, we're we using infantry and recon vehicles to shoot them down. But they're starting to get through a little bit more. It's it's happening. It is happening, guys. And as a result, it's time to bring in some anti-air vehicles. Now, why I've kind of hesitated on getting those before is because they only fire at the air. They don't fire at the ground, or, or most of them do not. Is the true... It can't attack terrestrial insects. Why? Who's operating this thing? You're fired. But unfortunately, that's what we have to work with, right? So, Cesar, as well as a great number of you are saying that we should probably work on some anti-air um, defenses in order to defeat the growing number and in the increasing quality in the enemy flying bugs. Now, Harfar, as well as a great number of you were saying that we need this incendiary factory to produce... I mean, if we're going to invest... See, this seems nuts. This is the first factory I've had to produce just to give me... Just to support the ammunition of one of my soldiers right now. Think about that. Think how nuts this is compared to what we've been through, right? We, we can produce tanks, recon vehicles, trucks, all kinds of army mans. All kinds of army mans. And we haven't had to produce an ammo factory. Look, there, there's just toxic ammo and incendiary ammo. So, but... I think it's definitely, since we don't have any flamethrowers right now, here's the thing. I've got, I think I've got these two armies here, and I've got no army yet to fight them. Look at this. This was, this was those jerks that conquered my people. 18 times 134, that's at least 57. There's at least 57 ants there. Probably, you know, a couple thousand, because I'm pretty sure that's how math works. And then we've got this other giant army. 208, and look at this. Oh, we can't even, we can't even see what they're at. We can't even see what they are. And somebody was saying, a rather opinionated armchair general was saying, Baron, you have consistently, almost consistently, undervalued my own soldiers and their capabilities. Look at this. We've got 196 to 144. Um, oh, look at that. That's how you launch a satellite. Interesting. Yeah, look at this. we got these big old bees. We've got no anti-aircraft. We've got pretty good defenses for the ground, and maybe recon vehicles could take out the flyers. But this is going to be a very... There's a lot of flying bugs. We've got these little these little sissies here. Eight episodes of this. We've got flies, and then we've got yellow jackets. And so we've got 80 of Vespula Germanica, the yellow jackets, because they're yellow and black, and that's why they're called yellow jackets. So should we fight it? Here's the turning point in the war. We're gonna we're gonna start it off with a big old battle here. I'm gonna launch a satellite. What the crap? I don't even know what that does. Satellites. Once you have built a launch site in your headquarters, you can launch a satellite in any room in the home as long as you have enough resources to do it. If there's a satellite in a room, then our intelligence can get to know the position. It was probably a waste of resources. To launch a satellite, but I, I, you know what? We don't need one right there because that's where our army is. Have these guys already attacked? Yes, they have. I'm gonna conquer those two flags, 
And then right after this battle, we got to build an army. All right, well, we're going to fight. If we lose this battle, then we know we have messed up critically. Oh, my goodness gracious. This is a big, big open room. Let's see. The spawning area is relatively small. We can spawn in over there as well. And we could run some recon vehicles all the way over here. But this is going to be very interesting. We got to make sure we put our supply trucks. But we don't have a whole lot of uh, anti-aerial anti vehicles. So let's get our sappers. And I, I don't think there's a mound. Let's go to, to, to the tactical view here. Yeah. So they're just going to... This is the thing that's confused me about this game. Is we're technically attacking. But in this one, we're actually defending. And when you're defending, you actually have to attack. I, is, is someone else perplexed by this? Regardless. Let's put out some sappers. Because they are going to build some defenses. Um, it's going to be really cool. I, I can't wait to show you what we're going to use. So, we definitely want a lot of heavy riflemen. Because these guys are going to be in these, like, external outposts. Oh, wow. We, we ran through all of them. Okay, now we want... We definitely want some supply trucks. We definitely want our tanks. Um, probably... And then the rest of this should... Maybe some artillery. Maybe, you know, get two or three. But what I'm most worried about is their air presence. Now, I've got plenty of battle points here. I'm going to spawn some over here, and I'm just going to have them rush. Invalid position. Really? That's green, mother truckers! Why can't I put units there? See, t tarnations, these these early access games, and they're, what, dirt, what there's going there and there. I mean, you know, proper English and whatnot. Oh, yeah, boys. We'll get, we'll get, what? One more truck. And then infantry will go with some assault troops. Alright. And I'm going to keep these battle points. Because I'm going to be building a lot of defensive uh, stuff. Let's see. Actually, speaking of which. Let's just get a few more sappers. To place these things. Because I'm going to have some barrage balloons. I'm going to have those little... Oh, boys. It's going to be good. Let's start this battle. We're going to pause. Now we select these guys. Here's what it is. You guys recommended this in the comments for the previous video. Not the last one. Basically the second to last one. So what we're going to do here is we are going to create three of these. Um, stationed out. Now, I'm, I'm assuming they're going to fly over the couch. I don't know. I've actually never fought in a room like this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Did I just... I gave him two jobs. I, that could be a mess up. And then we'll get you over here. And then we will get... Uh, I definitely want barbed wire. And then what they're going to do, once they complete those jobs, we'll just pause it again. So we'll unpause. They should go about their tasks. Now let's get little attack groups here. In each one of these. The infantry, right? Now, that should protect them from getting attacked from air vehicles. Or air vehicles. Air guys. Guys in the air. Alright. Now, they've done their task. We've actually... We're, we haven't been totally efficient with this. Now, we're going to put more barbed wire up. Like this. We're going we're gonna to create a defensive triangle. That actually worked out. Now, where's the... That guy could be the sapper. Yes, he is. Perfect. All right, put that there. We'll put that there. Now, are there any sappers in there? There is one sapper in there. That's weird. When I when I click that, I don't get him. All right, so we're going to go visual inspection. This is a key battle just because they've got a lot of really good units. Which one looks like a sapper? Dude, the one with the backpack. He looks like he could be a sapper. Now, look at that. Our points are actually dropping relatively quickly. All right, and pause because they're now ready to go again. Are they infantry moving up? They are moving up. Okay, where are my shotgun boys? Now we'll we'll divvy up. Let's see. We've got what five groups, three shotguns, and then we'll go these three, 
and that one. And then we'll do these. Whoop. Those three. I think I, I think I did all right. Did I already put them there? I don't think so. All right, and then we'll get we'll get four. Put them. Put her there, partner. And then we'll get these three. And I think that seems pretty well balanced now. Put up some barrage balloons. All right, they're just now finishing their tasks. I don't think that the terrestrial one's not really going to be able to get around there. We'll put we'll put glue since it's smaller, like right there. I don't anticipate them coming that way. We're down to 60, though, so we do have to be mindful of that. All right, now we're going to put supply trucks next to each of these areas. Keep them protected from the air. That's that's what I'm most worried about, guys, is the air. Where are the troops? I guess I guess we've been relatively effective. Now we got these two. One there. One there. All right, tanks. Understood. We'll get this line and make a pretty nice there. And we'll get this line. And we'll make a line here. This is might be, hopefully, the, the best defense we've done. Put those guys here. And I think we got these guys left. And we got these guys as well, right? So we'll put, put these kind of positioned in close support. Closer support, rather. And obviously, we're going to have to, like... See what happens. But we got a minute left to prep here. All right, so how's everybody moving? Who's not moving? Okay, artillery. I don't know how effective artillery is going to be this time, actually. Who's this guy? A shotgunner. Actually, we'll keep him back here. Just out there. Look at, look at this, man. Oh, my God. This is absolutely nuts. All right. All right, we gotta move you back. That ammo truck. Look at that. That seems pretty nuts, but how many? Oh yeah, barrage balloons. Where are the other guys? That guy could be a sapper. He is. All right, they're about to come. That's the shotgunner. I think there might be a sapper in here. Nope, they're all heavies. All right, guys, this is this is gonna be it, man. Artillery's already firing. Look at that. Yeah, look at that. So the flies are coming in, hot and heavy. The artillery's keeping. What? Oh, those are grasshoppers coming in. Actually, let's. I, I think I want to be better with my artillery. Put them all over here. And we'll have... Oh, this guy's going to be right on the supplies. So he should automatically fill up. That actually be interesting to, to do. I think, I think this is pretty good. Let's go check it out from the ground level. Sappers, pull back. We'll take this guy. He's our shotgunner. Oh, that's a bug's booty. Woo! Oh, my God. I thought he was coming in hot. So, look at this. Wasps! Right when I'm gonna fire, they get shot down, so I think we're doing alright. Hey there, Sapper! Hey there, dude! Just trying to get back to the base! BAM! Man, every time I'm firing, I'm like a second late because they're dead. Look at it, the wasp landed! He just. Wait a minute! I think these. Okay, so someone's saying that they protect you from grasshoppers. I thought they might also defend you from flies, but you saw that yellow jacket fly right under it. I don't think that's gonna. I don't think that's gonna work. All right, where's our tanks at? There's one tank here. Oh my God, see, look at this. This is why we need anti air because now they're gonna fly around, they're gonna distract guys. Roaches are just crawling straight in here. Oh my God. Luckily, we have shotguns. We have, look at it, look, everybody turns. They're, they're just like operating in unison here. 
All right, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually take control of this tank. Is he dead? Oh my god, dude, we're, we're getting bum rushed. Look at all the wasps! Oh my god. All right, I've gotta, I've gotta focus on my cannon and pick off some of the bigger bugs. Look for area, like uh, those little weevils are pretty good. Wow, that was a pretty bad shot. Oh my god, there's one charging me! Look at it, when he, did that kill him? Okay, good. He's spitting stuff on me! You jerk. Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god, look, they're everywhere. All right, so now what I gotta, oh my god, we're getting overrun. We are absolutely getting overrun. This guy's out of ammunition. Reinforcements. Vehicles. Oh my god, spawn all of them. Spawn all the guys. Too many troops on the battlefield, good. That means... Oh my god. We need supplies. Desperately. Oh, I think I'm I think I'm positioning these guys in the wrong place. We're gonna have an ammunition problem real soon. Yeah, right, you can't open fire. And actually it seems like most oh my god, actually most are coming in from over this side. So whenever we can, we're gonna get supply trucks. All right, reinforcements are needed over here. Look at this. An absolute horde. There's only 14 groups on standby, though. I think we're going to win this one. Um, I'm worried about maybe taking some casualties soon. Okay, we got to pull this infantry up on the front lines. You boys are front line soldiers. You know what you're called here to do. You're out there to get in the way of the enemy bugs. Tank's doing fine. We got bugs coming in on that side. All right, 78. Wow, these guys are not resupplying. Very this guy's got resupplies. We gotta, we gotta put you back out there, soldier. Whoever's got like over 500. Oh, this guy's got a thousand. Oh my God! Yeah, there are people running out of ammo. Five hundred. You're ready to go back out. I think I think we'll hold out. I think they're probably getting near the end and most of the stragglers. This is the biggest battle we've had against the widest variety of bugs since we've started this campaign to defend the house. I I don't I'm not sure we've taken a casualty though. So even though they've got a lot of new stuff, we're really we're really packing it to them. We just gotta make sure we've got the supplies to to keep pushing these kinds of engagements. This guy's got a thousand. Put you back. Nine hundred thirty-three. Oh yeah, look at that. We we we're doing it. They're slowing down. There's zero groups now. We're gonna speed this up. There's just a few spiders and roaches, and they're not getting too far. The artillery is actually shelling these couches, so it's definitely affecting. We gotta account for these couches, but this couch actually. While it was slightly bothersome, I think it really, really helped us do more. So there's two... There's a fly there flying around. That we're going to have to kill before this time is up. So let's just grab this group. Send them over here. Send out some random scout cars. To try to ascertain the position of the last bugs. And send out troops here. Right. Where's that last fly? See, I guess technically we'd still win though, even if there's like some bugs left. He's in the couch. He's definitely in the couch. One of them's in the couch, maybe more. What is that? Oh, that's that's something on my monitor. <laughs> yeah, this happens. This happens. Okay, guys. So it was clear though. That the there was some yellow jackets that just straight up flew in and maybe if we put them on the see if I had a light helicopter right now wait a minute is that a bug there's a grasshopper there <gasps> artillery oh th th this camera breaks my heart 
You noobs, that's not anywhere close. All right, so we found one of them. Maybe, I, I, I think I need an observer ASAP for sure. Where, the artillery is moving extremely slow, but I only see one. That's only, oh no, no, he's the, he's the last one. He's the last one. All right, so we're gonna speed it up. We Luckily we saw him, just that little black dot. Now, call a tank up as well, see if he can't. There we go. There we go. We 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 got victory. Now, how many casualties? Did we, I don't think we took one. I didn't see a medical X anywhere. Zero. We conquered everything they had, including these big like ear. What are the earwig beetles? I don't know. We got a little bit of toxic and incendiary barrels. Um. Well done. Well, well done. So, what does that mean? Now we should be able to attack it next turn but they're gonna keep sending in non-stop groups so all we gotta do okay so how did we I think I think what we should do is unlock some anti-air stuff see I don't know if I don't really want these guys they fire missiles well they're cheap right huh so let's see that would give us what 160 left hmm this is this is t like should I get this guy or should I get the missile I think we want to get the missile just because, yeah, he's cheaper. And, uh, <coughs> excuse me. And then I'm thinking maybe this bad boy? Artillery was good. I'm going to get this guy. He's basically better than the recon vehicle. Although being fast, the assault vehicle is slightly slower than the recon vehicle, but has significantly superior armor and power. Well, that recon vehicles have been winning us the war so far. Um, so now let's go ahead and get a, a new army. Obviously some sappers. We'll get two of them. We gotta be very judicious in our choices here. Three, we'll get four. Oh God, remove. And then I, I'm gonna go with some assault vehicles here. Oh man, look how small that army is. That's actually really scary how small that army is. Um, create it. Next, next turn. Did we buy the incendiary factory? We have not bought the incendiary factory, but I don't think I need flamethrowers just yet. Because then we wouldn't be able to get this army out. We're going to end the day. These guys might attack. Hopefully they do. Hopefully they go from here to there. That would be A-OK -okay with me because I could build another army. All right, all right, all right. Let's go to the next turn. Ladies and gentlemen, how is your Sunday going? Baron's Brigade, what you guys up to? Ooh, we got a new group. Is it a big group? 24... It's Bug Swarm 24. I need, a, I need a number. 80. Oh, we're crushing them now. We are crushing them. We just got to make sure we have enough ammunition. This group is the biggest group. So we got two armies in between us and victory. How big is this group? 134. Not big enough. This is only a group of 10. We need, we need massive amounts of infantry to do that. All right. So first things first, the easy stuff. Mission completed. Oh, I, I should have split that group up. That was a... That was a mess up. But now the flags are more mine than they are theirs. Um, okay, so I don't. I'm not going to do the incendiary factory until I feel confident in our defenses, which I'm not right now. Oh yeah, why didn't I build the anti-air guys? Right? Okay, that's a group of ants, but there will be some bad guys. So let's go with. We'll get. Two, uh, a few supply trucks. Five. We'll get three tanks. And then that seems like a pretty good group. We'll have two recons. Now we're going to infantry. We're going to get... Good. That. And then we'll go all of these bad boys. And then we will create that army. Now I feel pretty confident in being able to deal with that ant horde. Um, we're, we're probably a turn away from giving them what for. But we're going to have to fight this battle here. We're going to have to defend it, so that means I have to kill their stuff. But look at this. While they do have the big bugs, there's not a lot of them. And I think we've got enough anti-aircraft capability to take those things down. What we just showed. We just showed we could deal with them. So we're going to fight. 
Ooh, look at this guy, dude. This is, a, what, a red jacket? All right, it's the same kind of situation. All right, guys, so I've done our defensive posturing off camera real quick. Um, things are looking pretty good. There's actually, I think, probably going to be more attacking on this side. Let's go ahead and thicken our lines up a little bit. There's some grasshoppers coming in here. Let's see. We'll get a few more barrage balloons. Oh, my God, yeah. Ooh, he ran right through the balloon. Wow, we're, we're losing those balloons fast. But the artillery's coming in. I decided to position my artillery down here so they had a better area. And they're each kind of protected by, like, one recon vehicle. Is anybody coming from this side? Nobody seems to be coming from this side. Let's, let's go ahead and move a lot of the infantry over there because... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That, that's nuts. We, we need infantry over there. Stat. They're actually flying over here. Where I just left. I wonder why they did that. Oh, there's a guy in the cage in the, uh... Alright, now let's get... All of the, uh, sappers. Pull them back. Oh, hold up. These guys need a little bit more escort. I'm gonna have to call the tank over here. Yeah, I, w I wasn't anticipating this, actually. So, move everybody over, boys. Reinforcements. No. Reinforcements. Reinforcements have arrived. There's a little bit coming this way, but it's a relatively small trickle of bugs. So, we're, we're calling everybody over here. Remember, they, they've got some high-quality stuff, but they... Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I wish there were shortcut keys. We're just going to put these up everywhere. Oh, wow. We'll pull these guys in closer. My god. How's the artillery doing? How's this guy doing? He's got a grasshopper right on his face, man. There's these big green guys that are like flying into the walls and dying. Oh, this guy's out of ammo. Look at this. We've got this, we've got the giant horde. Oh my god, we need artillery over here. Stat. These guys, let's see if they're firing over. Okay, good. They're good, 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 good. Oh my god, I am nervous. I am I am nervous. Let's take control. Is that guy dead? I, I don't want, I don't want the... Oh, goodness. All right. Here come the infantry. And we'll get some more supply trucks. More infantry are needed. All right, good. Too many on the field. That means we're doing it right. Oh, now it's just ants. We did it. We've, we've withstood the storm. Now, just call in the supply trucks to keep everything running smoothly. Nobody running out of ammo. Nobody dying. And we've got this one, boys. We got it in the bag. We have fought two giant battles. And I dare say, other than those two armies, which we got to figure out how to deal with them, which I've got a plan. I think they're going to be well in hand. Let's see. So who's left? How many? 26 bugs are left on the battlefield. We got some flyers. So now it's time to... Take some armed. Call these guys over here. Everybody move out. Crush the last 13 bugs. There's a few ants trickling in. And then there's a few flyers here. Is there a grasshopper? There's a grasshopper on the same spot. What is it about that corner that catches those things? So we gotta call these artillery in. There's a flyer right there. Look at that, him flying around. Can we hit him, though? I think he's going to fly over towards these recon vehicles, and we should be able to knock him out. So the artillery is moving into position. Let's move these guys as well. Never know. Never know. All right, so there's two bugs left. Is it that mosquito thing? Oh, yeah, he's, he's right here. Okay. Boys, intercept that bug. Shoot him down. I think we just shot him. There's only one left. Okay, now it's the artillery. Where's the frick? The artillery moves so slow. Let's speed this up. We just got that one last bug to deal with. It's a buggy bug because he just sits there and stays. All right. Are they going to meet? There we go. There we go. There it is. What? Do you see what the artillery's doing? 
It was doing circles over there, guys. Insanity. All right, well, we fought the good fight. We've killed them all. We suffered zero casualties. That means so long as we have enough ammunition, we'll be able to keep withstanding what the enemy sends at us. So in the next episode, what we've got to deal with is these two giant swarms of about 200-ish each. Well, that one's 134 of just straight ants. Um, and I've got the army here to deal with that first ant move, I'm pretty sure. 36 to versus, what, 100-something? I'd like some more units, but... May oh, artillery support would be good. All right, guys, so now that we've unlocked the battle vehicle, what was it called? Let's, let's just go over it real quick. We just got the assault vehicle, and I unlocked the anti-aircraft infantry unit. What should we unlock next? Um, I'm wondering. I really want to get observers soon because they can call in cool stuff. Paratroopers are also pretty cool. But anyway, guys... We're doing good. We, we've got to build an incendiary factory to get flamethrowers back in the game. And let's check on ammunition real quick. Small caliber, still over 100,000. Everything else seems to be okay, but you guys can double check if there's any numbers that seem kind of low. We got we to gotta deal with those. Anyway, guys, we are fighting back the bugs. Look at this. We're on their doorstep with the, giant, the biggest army that the green plastic army men toy soldiers have ever brought forth into existence. And I'm proud of them. I'm proud of them. We, we've made a few mistakes, but you know what? What's a good campaign against an enemy unless, like, if it's too easy? That's no fun. We've, we've messed up. We've lost an army. We've had a massacre on our hands. Anyway, guys, hope you're all having a great Sunday, and I'll see you guys in the next video. There will be another video today, so stay posted to the channel. Hit that bell button, Baron's Brigade, and I'll see you guys soon.